The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Your store, your style. By the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, a leading provider of comprehensive sports-based training and therapy. Well, they've done it again. We're at Marquette University High School, home to the WIAA Division I state champions for the third straight year. I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. Tonight we congratulate the Hilltoppers and we check in on a couple of other local soccer teams that won state titles. Yeah! Break it down, Marquette on three, one, two, three, Marquette! We'll also salute a state championship volleyball team and have plenty of highlights from the state semifinals in football. But we're going to start tonight by trying to chase down a cross-country state champion. Here's Brad Preter with the Boston Store Featured Student Athlete. Megan Scott seems to have a smile on her face before, during, and after a run. It's a sport she loves with good reason, and teammates seem to enjoy running with her. She is just a wonderful person, so she's really funny. She usually instigates, we have this thing called um, Rose and Thorn, and where we tell the highlight and the low point of our day, and she usually instigates that, and that's really fun. Megan's enjoyment of cross country likely got even stronger when she finished first at the WIAA state meet recently. From the start of the race, she knew it was her day. It felt so great. Just right when I started, I was like, all right, I feel good. I'm so prepared for this. And I just wanted to have fun and enjoy it. And then after the race, it was just, it was pure happiness. I was so happy. I couldn't really put it into words and right after the race, but I was really, really happy and really proud. Competing at the state cross country meet for the third time, Megan won by more than 14 seconds over runner-up Camille Davra from Whitefish Bay. Coming down the stretch, Megan didn't know how far ahead she was. I had no clue. Well, I knew I was running with Camille, so I knew I had to keep pushing it, but I did not know where she was. So at the end, I just knew that I had to push it in as hard as I could because for all I knew, she could have been right behind me. As a team, Divine Savior Holy Angels placed seventh at state. Libby Whalen took 10th individually. She says Megan handles the pressure of a big race well, and she was not surprised that Megan won. I knew she could do it, and I'm just, I was so proud of her. Running out front, especially at the state meet, would be a thrill for any cross-country runner, but Megan likely wouldn't have reached that level if she didn't get so much enjoyment from running out here with the pack. I love that you can talk with your friends and build really great um, connections with your teammates as you're running and as you're doing it, and it just makes me so happy. I love it. Naturally, Megan runs track in the spring. She's an outstanding student, and when she's not running or studying, she's also active in Irish dance. As a cross-country runner, Megan has improved steadily through high school to become a state champion as a junior. I think it comes a lot from the season and just the coaches giving us the right workouts, but then also this year I tried to put in a lot more summer miles and I focused on getting ready earlier too. I love that it's a mentally tough sport where you have to not only keep pushing yourself physically but also just focusing on staying strong and staying in the moment. Megan comes from an athletic family that knows a little something about winning championships. Her brother won a state football title at Marquette, and her sister won state titles in basketball and soccer at DSHA. Now here's athletic director Peggy Brown presenting Megan her award courtesy of Boston Store. Congratulations, Megan, on being named the Preps Plus Athlete of the Week. We get it, you're always on the go. That's why Boston Store is ready anytime you want to shop, day or night, or anytime in between. At bostonstore.com, you'll find more brands, styles, and sizes to get you going, to work or to play. And with web exclusives, free online shipping, and convenient in-store returns, it's never been easier. What are you waiting for? Shop bostonstore.com. Boston Store, your store, your style. Think of joint pain like a warning light in your car. It means something in your body isn't working right or could be damaged. And the Freight Art and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network is where you go to keep everything in working order. 
Our orthopedic and spine specialists will show you all your options from non-surgical remedies like physical therapy to minimally invasive treatments and advanced surgical techniques to get you going again. Isn't it good to know what is possible? Welcome back to Marquette University High School on Preps Plus, the Journal Sentinels High School Sports Show. And much like the Hilltopper soccer team, the football teams we're about to see are perennial powers. Let's go to the action in the WIA State Semifinals. These are uncharted waters for the Pewaukee Pirates. The school has never advanced to level four of the state playoffs until tonight, just one step away from the state final in Madison. Meanwhile, it's business as usual for Catholic Memorial. The Crusaders have played in three of the last six Division III state championship games. In fact, the Crusaders lost in the title game last season. Huge motivation for 2016. Meanwhile, Pewaukee had a game-saving goal line stand against Monroe last week, but that Pirate D could not stop Memorial and Jalen Campbell tonight. Opening Crusader possession, Campbell scampers outside and dives inside the pylon. CM with a quick 7-0 lead. Next Memorial drive, it's QB Ben Nims with the perfect strike to Central Michigan bound Max Cooper, who is finally corralled at the 10. A few plays later, it's Campbell punching it in from a yard out. Crusaders up by 14 after one. The CMD did their part as well. Here, Jacob Kaiser takes down Carl Renz for a four-yard loss. Memorial adds a field goal, and then it's time for more Campbell. Here, he's met at the five-yard line, but still powers his way in. Crusaders now up 24-0, and they were not finished. It's Campbell one more time, his fourth touchdown of the half. Jalen ran for 162 on the night, 30 to nothing CM at halftime. The Pirates tried to right the ship in the second. Here QB Josh Swanson rolls and finds Carlos Terran for a five yard score. Then Pewaukee looks to edge closer, but on fourth down, Swanson is thrown down by Nico Marchan. The Crusaders roll 30 to seven, and will head back to Madison looking for payback against Green Bay Notre Dame. Well, after tonight, uh, I'm just ready to go compete for another state title and hopefully bring it home this year. We've got a great group, group of guys on the offense and defense. We're just ready to ball. Now we take you to Oconomowoc for our Division II semifinal. Homestead, the D2 defending champs, take on a hungry Monona Grove, a number five seed, coming off a thrilling win last week in overtime over Waukesha West. Monona Grove strikes first here. Alec Ogden hits a wide open Jackson Thompson for the 26 yard TD. Monona Grove up seven. Down 14, Homestead trying to answer back. Quarterback Bradley Wolf playing for the injured Eric Zoller keeps it heading upfield. Gets stuck in traffic, makes a U turn, and gets 44 yards for his effort. Second quarter, same drive. It stalls at the three yard line by a tough Monona Grove defense. Linebacker Duncan Crook and a few friends get the sack. Homestead's tough defense shows they came to play too. Here on third down, Michael Fahrenbach sacks Ogden for a big loss back to the two yard line. The story would be takeaways on this night. Monona Grove takes control of the game. Dan Smith jumps the pass for the easy pick six. Monona Grove 21-0. Homestead's offense knocked on the door all night and finally gets into the house. Bradley Wolf bowls his way in from six yards out for the TD, 21-6 Monona Grove. Quarterback Alec Ogden with a stellar 138.3 passer rating on the night, punches their ticket to Madison with this 50-yard bomb to Luke Koenig. Highlanders fall to the Silver Eagles, 35-6. We weren't making enough plays to, to put much pressure on them. Uh, I, I thought our defense stepped up at time and played pretty well. Uh, eventually we had a couple of good plays, but we couldn't get the consistency. 
In 2015, Franklin and Lake Geneva Badger both made the state semifinals. The Sabres mark in D1 and Badger in D2. This time around, this year though, they meet up in a Division I semifinal. Let's see how one of these teams earned a trip to Madison. It's the Preps Plus Game of the Week. A year ago, Franklin lost a heartbreaker to Arrowhead in a state semifinal. This time around, the Sabres were looking for redemption with a trip to Madison. Standing in their way, the undefeated Badgers from Lake Geneva Badger High School. The Sabres strike first when Max Elba finds senior wide receiver Kyle Lewis in the end zone. Lewis would be spending a lot of time there. Badger evens things up early in the second quarter. It's Mason Dumay connecting with Angelo Camilleri. He's in, it's seven apiece, and the Badger faithful are hoping their team is blazing a trail to Madison. Franklin can light it up through the air. Here Max Alba fires long, Kyle Lewis hauls it in, eludes two defensive backs, and he'll go 56 yards for his second touchdown, 14-7 Sabres at the half and they'll seize the momentum to open the third quarter. Kyle Lewis returning the kickoff. He's fast, not this fast obviously, it's sped up here, but it's a huge return down to the Badger 15. And Franklin takes advantage when Latron Kirk Spruer battles his way to the goal line and lunges across. It's now 21-7 Sabres. Badger would keep battling back. On the keeper, it's Mason Dumay. He's coming right at us. 21-yard score, and the Badgers are back within seven. They'll keep it that way by stopping Franklin in the red zone. Check out Braden O'Laughlin with the lunging interception just shy of the goal line. But there was no stopping Kyle Lewis on this night. He takes the pass from Elba, eludes one tackle, then another, and another, gets a couple of blocks, and Lewis races for his third touchdown of the night. It's 28-14 Franklin early in the fourth. Then the Sabres put it out of reach. Max Elba goes over the top to Ethan Wittenberg. Franklin advances to the D1 championship game with a 35-14 victory. Badger's amazing season comes to an end at 12-1. Franklin moves on to face Kimberly on Friday at Camp Randall Stadium. The first half we started off slow, but it was okay. We came back second half. I took a kick return almost to the house, and then our team just executed. Max was throwing the ball great to us, and our defense was just stopping them. I mean, last year, a lot of people know the story. We were this close, one yard, and then we snapped it over our head. All our brothers that graduated last year, they, know, they don't know the feeling, but they, they wish we wish they were here, they wish they were here, and it's just a great feeling. We love it. It's amazing from th this year compared to last year. You know, it was heartbreaking last year, but this year we knew what we had to do, and we executed. One more celebration to show you, Cedar Grove, Belgium moves on to the Division 5 title game with a victory over Clinton on Friday. The Rockets will take on Amherst on Thursday. Of course, we'll be in Madison this week for the state finals and good luck to all of the local teams competing for state championships. And don't forget to keep track of all the local sports by checking out the Preps Plus website at JSOnline.com. And to follow Preps Plus, be sure to follow us on social media. Stick around, we'll be right back. We get it, you're always on the go. That's why Boston Store is ready anytime you want to shop, day or night, or anytime in between. At bostonstore.com, you'll find more brands, styles, and sizes to get you going, to work or to play. And with web exclusives, free online shipping, and convenient in-store returns, it's never been easier. What are you waiting for? Shop bostonstore.com. Boston Store, your store, your style. No matter what your schedule, personality, or lifestyle, our primary care providers do everything possible to make every day a little healthier. It all begins by listening and getting to know you. It's about convenience with flexible hours and locations near you. And it's about connections linking you to the power of academic medicine right in your community. For a primary care provider who gets you, get to us.
dedicated himself to becoming the best player he can be. Blake Martinez has made an immediate impact in his rookie season. The Packers linebacker is our guest as we present from preps to pros. Hey, Mark, you think they'll notice a trophy missing? Now nah, they got plenty. Let's go. Man, this will look great in the office. Hustle up. Hustle up. Let's go. And I walk in the locker room, you have Aaron Rodgers, Julius Peppers, Clay Matthews, and all those type of people, and you kind of get starstruck for a second. But once I got out there on the field um, and kind of just started playing football again, it, it started flowing that much easier, and I was, I was back, in, back in the football type of mentality. Packers fourth round draft pick Blake Martinez says growing up, his father was a perfectionist. That kind of attitude was passed down to Blake, and he says other key people in his life were big on doing things the way they're supposed to be done. So when I was in high school, it was always a kind of thing that was instilled somehow through my coaches, my teammates, um, my strength coaches throughout the whole entire time that, hey, you need to make sure you finish each rep the right way finish each drill the right way, finish every play the right way. And doing those things throughout high school has helped me come into this setting and making sure that I, I complete everything obviously the right way. Martinez has dedicated his life to football, not just by how he works out, but also by the things he does not eat or drink. So I think being a pro, you have to sacrifice a lot of things that normal people wouldn't want to sacrifice. Just from the, for me, I mean, I don't, eat fast food, I don't. I haven't had soda for eight years. I haven't done a lot of things that, that normal people would want to do. Martinez earned his degree in management science and engineering at Stanford. There he earned the nickname Machinez for the workmanlike, almost robot-like way he gets his work done. Going and watching film instead of watching TV, watching my favorite TV show, and those type of little things to, to make sure I'm ready each day and ready to perform at a professional level, not for myself, but for my teammates. Martinez feels high schoolers who want to be successful can start by simply doing things right and setting a good example. And whether it's being the first person to class, sitting in front, making sure you get to know your teacher, working with other kids, making sure everyone around you is becoming a better person, um, and not being, I think nowadays a lot of people are worried about, oh, I want to be the cool kid. Um, but you, you need to be the kid that does everything right. Lance? Oh, yes, Mark. You know how dominant Catholic Memorial's girls volleyball team was this season? How dominant were they, Mark? Well, in the regionals, sectional, and at state, they didn't drop a set. That is impressive. And Craig Harden has our Preps Plus Team of the Week. The Catholic Memorial girls volleyball team came into the preseason ranked as the number one team in Division II volleyball. And last week, the Lady Crusaders finished on top as state champions. I don't think there's really like words that can describe like how like, great it felt to get one like as your senior year, like going out off to college, like just like end on a high note um, and to do it like with all your best friends that are on the team. Uh, there isn't a feeling out there that's like it. It's amazing. I thought this year was the most special because there's eight, there's seven seniors on the team and like all of us coming together and it's our last time we want to go off the bang. It's one of the best feelings in the world just because um, for this team especially, I mean it's, it's my third state championship but it's this team's first state, state championship. Um, so and just showing off the hard work we did in practice is one of the greatest feelings in the world. Clearly, at the start of the season, we knew this was a team that had the potential in the championship, given that, that so many of the players were on the teams that won you know, the year before, the year before that. But um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's just a challenge that you have to, you know, it's a slog to get through a long season. We play an exceptionally tough schedule, which I think on the other, you know, it's tough as we go through it, but it prepares us at the end of the year to, to win big matches. And you would think winning a state championship for a third time will get old. Like our coach Ted says, each uh, state championship is different. So we didn't look at it as three in a row. We looked at it as our first one for this team. So it was just as exciting as all the other years. I mean, to go with a win, you can't really be disappointed. Definitely, it definitely never gets old. Just because, like I said before, each um, state championship that we have is with a different team. So it's like, um, I don't know, it's a completely different experience every time, but I mean, winning never gets old. It definitely doesn't. Um, 
As a senior, it's a lot more emotional because you know you're never going to be playing with the same girls on the same team ever again. Um, and you're all going to go your separate ways when you go up to college. So uh, every state championship like has a different feeling. So like the first one was like, oh my god, it just happened. The second was like, we can like keep doing this. And then the third one was like, wow, it was the last time like with all these girls that like I love. Congratulations, girls, should be in the Preps Plus Team of the Week. Hey, I'm J.R. Radcliffe from Lake Country Publications and Now Newspapers. Like Marquette, the Whitefish Bay Boys soccer team won the Division II state championship for the second year in a row. Our Stephen L. Teets was there and has the full story on the North Shore corner of MyCommunityNow.com. You can also find Stephen's story on Menominee Falls volleyball player Mackenzie Robertson, whose family took in two boys after they lost their mother to cancer. The Menominee Falls volleyball team and Robertson closed their season in the state semifinals last week. And the big football games are ahead of us at Camp Randall Stadium in Madison. The state championship weekend is upon us. Follow me on Twitter at JR Radcliffe and see full updates from the games at MyCommunityNow.com and LakeCountryNow.com. Preps Plus will be right back. We get it. You're always on the go. That's why Boston Store is ready anytime you want to shop, day or night, or anytime in between. At bostonstore.com, you'll find more brands, styles, and sizes to get you going, to work, or to play. And with web exclusives, free online shipping, and convenient in-store returns, it's never been easier. What are you waiting for? Shop bostonstore.com. Boston Store, your store, your style. Think of joint pain like a warning light in your car. It means something in your body isn't working right or could be damaged. And the Freight Art and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network is where you go to keep everything in working order. Our orthopedic and spine specialists will show you all your options from non-surgical remedies like physical therapy to minimally invasive treatments and advanced surgical techniques to get you going again. Isn't it good to know what is possible? It's important to warm up before a game or activity to decrease chances of injury, to increase the athlete's readiness for activity, and allow the athlete time to mentally prepare for the activity at hand. A warm up decreases the risk of injury by turning stiff and rigid muscles into more elastic muscles, reducing the force on the connective tissue and joints from sudden twisting, cutting, or stretching. An individual athlete should warm up for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Warm ups lasting longer than 20 minutes may deplete energy stores. Athletes, however, should make sure they warm up in all planes of motion, that being frontal straight ahead, sagittal side to side, and transverse rotational planes. They should also use static stretching or stretch and hold, and hold for at least 20 seconds on those stretches, or use myofascial release using foam rollers. To learn more about the sports medicine program, visit freighter.com slash sports. With the Marquette Hilltoppers leading the way, Southeast Wisconsin soccer teams definitely did very well at the WIA State Soccer Tournament. Scott Babbler's got the action from a couple of championship matchups in the Preps Plus Spotlight. Uh oh. Oh! It's already been a very successful day for local soccer fans as both Marquette and Racine St. Catharines have brought home championships. And now it's time for a true heavyweight battle in Division Three as Mount Horeb takes on Delavandarian. These were the last two state champions at this level, and the Comets come in red hot. They're ranked number one in the state. They have a 25 and two record, and they've outscored their last 14 opponents, 75 to five. Early on, it looked like that kind of domination would continue. Just the eighth minute, Tigrio Huerta with the corner. It's headed right in front and Julian Riviere rips it past Max Handrich. The Comets grab the early 1-0 advantage, and they build on that lead. 
just five minutes later, Gerardo Rodriguez with a shot from distance, and it just catches the inside corner of the goal. His 19th on the season, Comets now up by two. But the defending champion Vikings would not go quietly. They cut the margin in half with a late first half goal and control play in the second. Here, Ben Stevens' shot is just wide and smothered by Ricardo Huerta. The Vikes keep the pressure on late. Here in the 84th minute, Huerta somehow finds this ball in heavy traffic. Then just a minute later, Johnny Winkler has a point blank shot, but he drills it right at Huerta. Delavandarian survives with a hard fought two to one win, their second state title in three seasons. Last year we just had a little slip up and this year we try to make sure we didn't have any mess ups. We just fought through. We got what we wanted. It was a senior team, so we grew up playing all in the same league, all on the same team. So that was a great game. It's tough, and that's what I told them to enjoy this. These this group of guys I've known since they've been little. So this feels, you know, it's great to see these guys grow, mature, and, and do this. The nightcap features Division II's top team, Whitefish Bay, taking on Elkhorn. The Blue Dukes, the defending state champ, looking to add boys soccer title number six to the school trophy case. Make room for some new hardware, as the Blue Dukes left little doubt who was tops in D2 this season. 41st minute, a beautiful centering pass from Jimmy Zebel, and Jack Chandler hammers it home. 1-0 Whitefish Bay at halftime, and they pour it on in the second. 58th minute, Matthew Comiskey hooks it just inside the far post. The Blue Duke lead is pushed to two, and just three minutes later, Bay puts this one away. Comiskey chips it in, and Jeremy Haddock with the pinpoint header. The Blue Dukes outshoot Elkhorn 16-2 and shut out the Elks 4-0. Whitefish Bay has gone back to back. We're hoping to get the job done, do our best, work hard, and just show what Whitefish Bay is all about, and we've done exactly that. We knew if we could get to this game, we were going to leave everything out of the field with the 90 minutes, and uh, these guys really played their heart out, and we had a lot of injuries, but guys stepped up. Finally tonight, we want to congratulate Racine St. Catharines. The Angels claimed the Division IV state championship with an overtime victory over Fond du Lac Winnebago Lutheran. Time has expired on Preps Plus this week, but next week, of course, we'll have plenty of highlights from the state football championships. We'll also have action from the state boys volleyball tournament. Till next time, I'm Mark Stewart. And I'm Lance Allen. See you next week on Preps Plus. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store, your store, your style. By the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network, a leading provider of comprehensive sports-based training and therapy.